Hi, everyone. I'm Steve here again for our weekly interview with Dr. Nario. As you know, Dr. Nario is with Biointegrative Health Center in Reno, Nevada. Probably many of you have checked out the website there, but you can find out more about what they do and the different protocols they have and what they treat at Biointegrative Health Center. So uh, thanks for being with us, doctor. Hi, Steve. Thank you for having me again. Always a pleasure. So it's, you know, in the last few weeks, we've talked about things that scientists are finding in the body. They're in the body and then they can duplicate them, make supplements and so on. So we're, we're going to talk about a probiotic today and it is <clears throat> Ackermansia. So it's a probiotic, but tell me, what is it? Uh, beyond that? Well, Steve, this is a probiotic that has been tried to be isolated for like the longest times I've, I've, I've read through medical literature. And now the time has come. Ackermansia has so many important things that it brings to the body, but I'm going to discuss that in a bit. But this is something that is, why is it so hard to, to replicate or put in a supplement is for the reason that Ackermansia is an anaerobic organism, meaning when you get it exposed to oxygen, it dies. So that's why isolation is a challenge. Now it has come into fruition. It has happened. It was first identified in 2004, but has never been isolated. One to, one to 3% of a healthy gut actually contains this bacteria. It lives in that mucus slippery lining of our intestines. And it also creates a healthy ecosystem or a balance in the gut, meaning it controls the immune system, the gut barrier, weight management, blood glucose control. That's why scientists wanted to take hold of this bacteria because it has so much effects in these aspects. And when you have low acromancia, it has been associated with obesity, osteoporosis, anxiety, depression, uh, even inflammation, uh, again, many illnesses. Um, that's why it's called keystone species, meaning it affects so many life functions. And remember, aging, one of the biggest enemy of our gut, even the healthiest person will shed the gut lining and will have some dysbiosis, as we call it. So mucin or the slimy gel a layer on the surface of the gut, it actually been, is being fortified by acromancia because it eats the, 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 the gel and then it poops it out again to produce more gel. So I mean, it, it sounds, sounds icky, but that's how it rebuilds the gut. And it, it also is something that is very unique because that's the only one that does that. So I, I know we're going to get to this in a minute, but um, is this something that they're now as an ingredient putting in products? Uh, right now, no, because I'll tell you okay. why in a bit. You'll find out. Okay, so uh, what what's the benefit? There's is there multiple benefits to this substance? There is. So there are there are a lot that I mentioned, but I'm going to light highlight a few. That's very important, Steve. Acromantia is associated with reduce reduced risk of obesity. High relative abundance of this bacteria is associated with low risk of obesity. Okay, taking note independent of age, sex, smoking, alcohol, drinking, diet, and the country that you're living in. So meaning if it doesn't, if you're eating a lot of, um, of, of junk and you have low acromancia, you're still going to develop di um, I guess, obesity. If you have higher of this, even though I'm not promoting junk food, but it still will protect you in a way. And also, it also helps uh, pre-fat turns into more brown fat. So this is the more, um, I guess, more metabolically active type of fat and also less inflammatory. And another study showed that obese subjects, right? These are obese already with higher acromancia abundance exhibited the healthiest metabolic status, particularly in the labs showing fasting blood glucose, triglycerides, body fat, fat distributions. Thus, it buffers the bad effects of obesity. So that's how powerful this, this um, <clears throat> probiotic is. And an administration of disease-relevant microbial species may be promising as a new dietary management tool for improving glucose control in type 2 diabetes or delaying the disease progression. 
Acromantra stimulates the intestinal cells to secrete GLP-1, specifically in the L cells of the, of the intestinal uh, cells and on the surface. And along with another bacteria, uh, plus uh, C. Um, butyricum, which is the sister bacteria, they work together to produce butyrate. And that's actually the food of our, our intestinal cells. And when I mention about GLP-1, we always think about semaglutide. So as you can see, as I mentioned, this is a natural stimulator for our own semaglutide. And also a hormone called PYY, which actually is being promoted when you have acromantia, which inhibits <clears throat> gastric movement and increases water and electrolyte absorption in the colon, thus uh, promoting satiety. So you're not going to be eating. And lastly, it actually promotes everything good about the brain. It interacts with tryptophan to form serotonin, more GABA, which is a calming neurotransmitter, and BDNF, brain-derived neurotro neurotrophic factor, for more brain function. All right, so if I put that, tell me if I'm accurate here, putting this in layman's terms. <clears throat> so this is something this new probiotic that's been discovered is going to help your gut be healthier, right? Correct. Okay. So we know a healthy gut gives us many, many health benefits, right? Mm -hmm. That's kind of what you're talking about. Well, so I know, you're not the, the real I know you're not promoting donuts. Yeah. Well, well, the real seller here is even if you're in a sick state, like as I mentioned, obesity, if you want to keep yourself safe and you say, hey, I'm stuck, I can't change my own ways, here, take Acromantia. Why? Because even in that obese state that you are in, you will improve yourself compared to the other obese patients who are not taking Acromantia. So it's going to be better than not having it. Yes. Yeah, but like, like I said, a healthy gut is incredible for right. your health. So. Right. Where do we get this stuff? What what type of sources is there for for this? Well, Steve, anything good comes from natural sources. Dietary polyphenols increase acromantia to combat metabolic syndrome in studies. When you hear polyphenols, where, what do you uh, think about next? Plants. Daily oral administration, for example, of cranberry extract for eight weeks prevented weight gain and, and even... Um, prevented several features of metabolic syndrome in association with strong increase in acromantia. And this was found in mice microbiome. Healthy volunteers also drank pomegranate extract, which is displayed increased amounts of acromantia in stool samples, increased almost 47%. And administration of acromantia as a probiotic to alleviate obesity-related metabolic disturbances while increasing the mucus layer uh, actually becomes a tighter and better intestinal barrier. And even in case studies, people who are taking Ackermann's as a supplement, after 1.5 months, actually lost 12 pounds. Here's the catch. Now, this is what I was telling you, why it cannot be an everyday type of thing for other people, because the range of the price can be from $30 to $200. So the heavier, of course, the, the price that you pay for, the better quality you get. And there are two forms, pasteurized and live forms. So the, the pasteurized one is inferior. So you want to get the live ones. And this is the one that's being contained in the supplements that I'm telling you that's newly discovered. Okay, so is that 30 to $200 a month? Uh, yes, a bottle is actually going to give you a month supply. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And pomegranate extract. You said and cranberry where it's found. No, oh, not the cranberry. sweet cranberry. It has to be the yucky cranberry. Don't be cheating. Cranberry. All right. Well, is there anything else that you want to add to this uh, before we go, doctor? Well, you're right. In the future, this uh, bacteria will be more affordable to to patients out there. It's just right now. It's just a breakthrough that it has been years that the medical community has been trying to isolate this bacteria in our guts, and now the technology is there. So keep an eye on this bacteria as we move forward, because one of these days, it will be in your grasp, and now you can also benefit the, from, the, from the health, uh, I guess, positivity of the effects of this in the body once that becomes in your reach. 
Okay, well, as always, Dr. Nario, we appreciate your insight and your research, uh, knowledge. So, thanks for being with us. Well, Steve, thank you so much for having me. As we all know, knowledge is power, and thank you for letting me provide you with the edge and longevity and health maintenance, which I call the biological edge or the bio edge. Thank you.